notice the growing amount of violence in our city? I have, Gorgo, I have. Makes me wonder if 3-1-PD knows how to do its job. That's a bold statement, Roger. All I'm saying is that it didn't used to be this way. Not when Shrek was keeping the peace. Oh, come on. Mercenaries make bad police. Everyone knows that. Maybe you're right, but at least there was peace. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. We are, we started our investigation into Sacred Coil now. What's this gonna give us? Adrenal Weave and Adhesion Grenades. I didn't use the Adhesion Grenades that much, so I don't really have an interest in getting them again. And I don't think it, the Adrenal Weave was that great. Over here, the Hazmat Seal was pretty useful and the Acid Grenade as well. So I th I'm definitely gonna go for that one. I wanna make sure that I have everything set back up as it was supposed to be. I don't wanna go for Great Phoenix equipment because they get the Regen Weave, which is very powerful. I wanna get a few of those at least. And the Venom rounds are also gonna be pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna need, I don't know if I want gas grenades necessarily. I gotta see what they do and be able to read into them first. And we're leveling Patrick up. That way she's ready for the end of this whole thing with all of her training necessary to uh hack and stuff and all that good stuff so apply that do we have anything to purchase i don't know if we have any new supplies i think we did buy everything that we wanted to but we do have a bunch of stuff he's the only one who has everything that he needs or at least most of his equipment he has been on the team most consistently though which is why he's such a high level a nano med kit which i want to give to her Terminal's on the team with Shrank rounds now. I forgot we got her on the team. Do we only have one heal? She has the Medi patch and the Nano Med Kid. I'm gonna actually give that to Torque instead because Torque seems to be closer to the uh, team more often than Pat, not Patchwork, more often than Zephyr is. And I think that's it. I think that's how we wanna do this one. Contraband confirmed on site. You're good to go. All right. So, successful shots on enemies will crit. That sounds like Blue Blood's entrance. The entrance will have the weapon disabled. Successful shots on enemies will breach will stun. I don't know if that matters too much right now. You're the one with the scanner though, so we'll be able to scan on the second entrance instead of the first. Send torque second. Uh uh. We said we're gonna start sending Zephyr earlier on. That way she's not standing getting shot up out in the open as much. So we'll do it like this. And nobody else can do anything here, right? Yeah, we don't need to use the med patch. Nobody in here is uh, uh not alert, but like hostile was aggressive. No one in here is aggressive, so we don't have to worry about that. Successful shots will stun. Can we stun a turret? I don't think it matters. I think he just blew it up anyways. Let's go for the hitman and get them lowered on health. They do have the most health besides the bruiser also. Uh, and we're going to shoot at the bruiser. Now, let's go for spreading out the damage a little bit and get everything close to death. Or you can just kill it too. We got a lot of deaths on this one just because our accuracy is starting to go up a lot more. They aren't amateurs. I'm gonna use dead eye which one do, which ability did we take we took cascading lance so so that's the one where it passes through different people that does more damage go for the number two dude if we take them out them and zephyr can uh handle what we need to do next and collect the evidence and can we go for number three what's our chances to hit them not as high i'll go for the number three person I was hoping for like a crit or something there, but that's fine too. And then for Zephyr, she can take out what is now number two. Splintering. And Got with her momentum, she'll be able to move and Let go into me. here and collect this uh, evidence that we need. Then Terminal can just take that. Never mind. Why is it low cover? She just doesn't have good aim at all. 
Can you just use subdue? Yeah, that's gonna kill for sure. I don't think they can miss subdue. Stay down. All you understand this entrance give 50 dodge for the round or there are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. I'll go for this one. Blue black can use that. We want Zep we want Zephyr to go not last. And nobody took any damage of that breach because we killed everything go pretty back. much instantly. So we'll be fine here. Grenade out. Looks like we have a lot of androids. Someone's hostile here. We'll go for the turret. Looks like if she hits, she'll take it out. If we don't roll higher on damage, actually. So I shouldn't have said that for sure. You have a 100% chance to hit whatever you go for. Now, the question is, do I go ahead and take out this turret? I think I will. Four to five damage on something that only has three health. Then we're going to bank on someone else landing their shots. Hang on a second. Let's see what we got going on in here. We have a lot of androids, which Patrick would have been good at taking out, especially with her. Um, can't hear this too well. Especially, oh no, that's what it is. Especially with her uh, shocking ability, since that does bonus damage to robotic units as well. What can we do to number two? We have a necromancer over there, but we only have a 48 on them. Let's go for the number two unit, just to see if we can take them out. All right. I'm trying to clear up the turn nice order in the order that they go. I don't know what the necromancer is gonna. Oh yeah, spectre zombies. That's their thing. I haven't seen them do much else besides this. I know they can reanimate their dead enemies, our dead teammates as well. Uh, that puts them at the bottom. Where are you at? If we can move right here, we might be able to get a lance. Actually, can we get a lance shot from here? Damn. We'd have to get terminal, on a terminal, torque to move out of the way. First. We'll use team up on because I kind of want this land shot to go through pretty strong, especially since they're all clustered up right now. So we use dead eye on him and then on Zephyr's turn, we'll use team up with blue blood to give him that second turn. We hit this dead eye shot, he'll die. Got the hostile. And then we're going to take his spot. Up. And that way we'll angle. get that angle on uh dead eye and now we use team up on blue blood again at this angle it looks like she'll be able to take out whatever she oh we want to hit this and then move her out the way and see if we can get her down to where she's to where we need to be anyways or pretty close we'll get this hostage out of here not hostage but civilian out of here that way they're in safety i guess Okay. Anyways, so let's see if we can get a face lance off. Can we hit all three? Now we can only hit two, but the most important one to hit is the necromancer. So first I want to use dead eye, not on the necromancer. What is that? What about this? Let's go for this shot right here. It doesn't matter if it hits or misses. Okay. It hits 57%. That's pretty good. And then we'll use this face lance shot right here. four than eight so it doubles as it passes through so that's pretty good that was, that was my main thing is seeing how much it doubled by and you can just move over here you also have pretty good mobility along with uh zephyr if we get godmother then we'll have a pretty good team of mobility and now we just have to get out well zephyr won't get a turn before or not zephyr but uh Torque won't get a turn before the enemies come in. So we'll put her in Overwatch right there. I he's not in Overwatch. We can use. We don't have cooperation yet. So let's move her over to here. On the run. And Overwatch in this direction. And we could just run her straight out. Because she can Stay make it. 
I don't think this area is Overwatch too well, though. That's my only concern. So if anything comes in in front of Torque, it's pretty much able to walk in. Okay, never mind. That dude ran into the the area that she could see. We can't make it to the exit right now, so I use dead shot right here or dead eye. I can't remember what it's called. I'll take it. And then we'll move him yeah. back to here, which puts him in Overwatch for anything else that will come in. Feel the fire covered. And we can move Torque out now. Go ahead and have her evac. And you will have you Overwatch just in this general direction. It seems like enemies can come and go this way, and these ones are already covered by that. Either way it goes. Okay, they're down and unconscious since we use the trank rounds. Now let's use dead eye on them. See if we can land this shot. Still got So yeah, we just killed everything that stepped foot in here. We just swept this whole mission. It was pretty easy. Pretty simple. Evac. I guess that would have been pretty good too. I could just move him to the exit and then leave him there and he'll be on Overwatch. Only issue is he'd be out in the open from anything else that comes in the shoots. Everyone was unarmed. This the tip was a good one. The content of the secure case should be should prove useful in our current investigation. We got a flawless one there. Probably one of the only ones we'll get in this playthrough. Geography Angler's Point has Angler's Point has the best part of was the best part of the city in the occupation days. When food was short, you could catch your dinner. It felt open despite the ugly city walls in the background. Plus, the Advent patrols weren't as high strung because it was too central for the resistance to hit. Set a bug town, a local guide to City 31. All right, uh, unrest is down in Angler Point, Swiss Yard, and stacks have both risen to five. So those those ones are getting kind of high. A lot of upgrades now or promotions. The epidemic known as the Fay has reached City 31, concerning many of our hybrid residents. Next Gen, a local medical research facility, sought to reassure the public. We will find a way to treat this disease, but it will take time to develop a cure. Some hybrid citizens are unimpressed with the lack of progress. The fade affects us. Only us. The gene therapy clinics could solve this. Open them back up. We'll keep you informed of any developments. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. We're almost done with assault rifles here, and we just uh, went for more intel too, because it's still pretty low, especially with us still having to do upgrades and such in here. That's going to be an issue. We have to take care of this now. How many uh, encounters is this? It's probably going to be one or two encounters. So we'll probably handle that right now. And we still can't use Dragnet. We've heard him for Intel the most. Is this a security team? Plus five income. Intel income. I'm going to upgrade this one. That's why though. I'll upgrade it once. I'll upgrade this one as well. And we're going to be going into this mission now also we have him getting more intel she's still doing her training until she's done she has four more days at least of training two from there and maybe two from the other one we have promotions to hand out though go down to the barracks promotions for torque she can either torque gains plus one armor when binding an enemy and will not lose the bind upon taking damage or torque gains a bonus to critical bonus to crit against poison enemies and will heal when ending a turn while standing in poison. So it would like her poison splash heal her as well as dealing bonus critical damage to the poison. Now the main thing that we've been doing with her is using the bind. But we also haven't been taking much damage with the bind, so maybe it'd be better for us to use the uh, synthetic venom instead of the reinforced scales. But it's going to give her a bonus to her health overall. I think she she doesn't have any armor naturally, but this will give her one armor. 
which will reduce her damage and wait toy gains plus one armor when binding an enemy so it's only when binding an enemy i think this one's going to be more useful we can give her venom rounds or give someone on the team venom rounds and that way um she will be able to get that bonus crit damage against them as well as being able to heal and the poison as well with her own poison spit or the poison grenades that we just managed to get next up is her is this cooperation now this is refresh the gremlin heals all allies at the breach point for two hp once permission so that's a pretty good move it's essentially just another uh medi patch and this is crowd control which is like her bomb basically it's an aoe effect thing uh, Zephyr quickly darts around and attacks every nearby unit before returning to her original position. Turn to turn cooldown. So that one's pretty powerful as well. We got this going. We got that going. And he's still working on this. We are not the police. If you see a theft, call it into 3-1 PD and move on. But there is one notable exception. Hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene. Don't let them escape. Okay. We'll give... Do we have the poison round? We had acid grenade. Which I'll give to her. Not the... Over the AP rounds, though? Yeah, I think we'll give those to her over the APs. Now, we'll bring the APs. The main kick can go to uh, Terminal. She's already our healer anyways. Plus, she already has the Trank rounds and on that kid. What else do we get? Hazmat vest. Grants immunity to all environmental status effects. Does she have immunity to poison? Yeah. Torque is naturally immune to the effects of poison. So all we have to do is avoid fire with her. I think we're going to give that. to bring her armor down by one, but she will be able to walk anywhere she wants to. Which hasn't been an issue so far. I think we're going to hold off on giving that to anyone right now. Give it to her just because there's no point in having it to not use it. You don't have anything to... You have the breach charge. You have the medi patch. And you have a hollow scanner. So you can get the ceasefire bomb. I think that's all of our stuff that we have. So let's go ahead and do this mission. It's another three-parter. So this episode might be a little longer than usual. usual but that's fine. Dangerous contraband confirmed. Recover it from the hostiles. Yeah, we gotta watch our unrest more because I think this is the second time this has happened. Fashion with the entrance gets plus one armor during the encounter. You have armor too. Why do you not show that you do? Anyway, we'll lead through with Zephyr. Then we'll go with Terminal. We'll have we use a ceasefire bomb here just so we don't. Uh, it says damage isn't likely, so we'll just go for a normal shot. And then blue blood. Yeah. Time to move. I thought she was gonna head that with that for a second. Like I haven't played this game so many times to know that she doesn't have but stuff. Send her way back. Commandos up front. Alright, he's taken out. We're just gonna shoot at everything that's right in front of us now. At you though, we're not gonna waste that one shot when we could deal it and spread out the damage. And you're going way in the back. Why are you marked? Because of the turret, I assume. Prepping to flank. Yep. And then everything's moving around Let's in here, go. repositioning. She had that kick move that would have been nice right there. I think it does like one or three damage, one of those two. Can't remember. Prevent enemies from escaping. Can I get this on everybody in here? You can get it on two of them. The two that would definitely die. Hmm. Yeah, I can get it on the two that are definitely die, but then number three is gonna have a clear shot on her. Oh wait, no, no, you won't. So I can just use parry. I'll do this one right here already put in this ability to use i think the effects still apply to everyone too right that's just the natural thing yeah weapon disabled weapon unaffected oh but we didn't get that uh 
parry effect, but it didn't matter because the dude just walked away anyways. We can take this shot here. What's the number two unit? They're inside of this room, huh? We can overwatch this entrance so that way anything tries to move out, they won't be able to. Let's do it like that. Cool. They're going for the exit, aren't they? I think they're going to almost make it. Can we see number two from here? We can see number one. We can see number five. Number five is a Cobra. Or we can drop an Astro Grenade in this doorway right now. I'm going to hold that for now and drop the Poison Spit right here. Drop it right about here, actually. That way it's going to take out that Trooper. It's not your day. And then One she's going to take you. a shot. It says they're poisoned. Uh, synthetic venom plus 50. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good boost. That's 50% chance increased. Double I don't think time. it mattered either way right there. But yeah, now they're not going to leave this room. Weapon. And they're in Overwatch now, which isn't a problem for us. Now we might be able to get a lance shot lined up on all three of those dudes right there. Target. If we move out here. Because, yeah, all three of them are in a straight line, or at least two of them are. I can't tell where this Cobra's feet are. Our base is, I guess, not feet. Let's move. Let's move Blue Blood right here. I need a better angle. And his weapon was disabled, but we don't need to. Ooh, maybe we can get all of them? No. But this land shot is going to go crazy right Dropping here. We might hammer. kill everything. No, we won't kill the Cobra, but I know we'll kill the last one. Just lucky, I guess. Five, eight, and I didn't see what the middle dude took. I'll see when I'm uh, editing it, probably. Oh, shit. Someone got out. I think that just means they're going to be fighting us at a later point. They were able to walk through because they are. Uh, damn, I didn't get her that it has meth, did I? And I was just talking about how we haven't had to deal with poison or moving her through anything. I think that's fine, though, because you just prepare and then move terminal over here to take a shot. Only a 54% chance, but we might as well take it. Move torque over to here. On the go. Can Sung pull them and just uh use subdue? No, if we tongue pull as our last action and it allows us to bind afterwards, the which is just gonna kill him anyways. Subdue would have just let us bring them back as a hostage to interrogate. So it's fine either way. Yeah, we're gonna take this entrance. We have less enemies here. He used Zephyr. He didn't take any damage, so we don't have to heal. Then we'll do blue blood and torque. We have a ceasefire bomb still. Maybe we'll switch to do this. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Open sesame. He was the only one who took damage just because he was out in the open, I believe. Is what happened. Grenade out. Let's go for that turret and get that out the way. Those things can be a pain to deal with. Although I don't think it went down. Let's see what's up here. I'll probably have uh, Zephyr go for that dude standing right next to us. That way she's not going super far away and is still potentially going to be in cover. Plus we know that Zephyr can kill them right now. Why does it drop from 100 to 57 percent? I guess I'll go ahead and take this out now then. That self-destructs me and prime probably all over the place now. Oh, you'll 
regret that. Knocked a few scales off. Use dead eye. Go for this shot on dead eye. Cool. Now is the land shot gonna line up anything that won't also hurt our team? Well, it doesn't matter because we don't have uh what's, what about the number two dude? Ooh, do I risk missing that shot or do I just go for the guaranteed kill over here? I think I'll do that. I'll take you. I could have moved him up to uh what are you, why are you getting so close? No, that makes sense. I could have moved him up there and put him in overwatch. That way he would have took that shot on the number one, probably for a better chance too. Not what I wanted to do today. Uh, crippling blow. Can you reach all the way back here? You can. Let's see if we can take them out. I'm hoping for a stun or a weapon disable here. The sword takes fine too. That means they have a lower chance of hitting. But if they decide to pick up their flamethrower and shoot, then they're going to be uh, in trouble still. Let's move over to number four is going to go next. To move out of here because they won't be they'll probably just run around on their turn yeah if they're disoriented they'll probably run around on their turn use tongue pull on 65 percent chance here can you bind another cobra why did that dude stop like he was asking i'm gonna do something anyways this is interesting. Technically, they should be able to just slither back out. Number two unit. She used team up on Zephyr to get her out of there at least. We'll go for this shot then. Yeah, I, was, I had a feeling it was still going to hit, although I didn't actually know if it was going to hit. I'm so. still ahead of you. I want to get this to hit. Both of them from as far away as possible. You're too close. As fast as I can. All right. Interesting. Oh, okay. Another Random like dropped to the ground like he tripped or something. So I thought he just died and didn't actually let it go off. Why did you turn around like he was doing it too? That was copying a uh, torque. And I didn't expect it to be a last one. Usually that little bit was the is the last one. That's through the entrance will get plus whatever during the breach. You already used your thing. Right? We'll use replenish here. Torque. And then no. We want Zephyr then torque. We want Zephyr then torque. There we go. Don't bunch up. That doesn't look so bad. Yeah, everyone had a little bit of damage now, so it's pretty good that we saved that for later. Is anybody hostile? You are. Is there a difference? There's really no difference in the shot right now since we have 100% chance either way. You're also going to shoot at them. You can go for the commando. And you can go for the bruiser. I don't think bruisers have done much this whole playthrough yet. I don't think they do too much. They just have a pistol. Who is that? Why is that dude so? Oh, that's a bomber. Okay, I remember them. Target in sight. Now they're trying to escape, but everything those two are lined up. So let's see if we can get a land shot lined up on them in return. If I move to over here, I'll be able to get one on both of those. Right? I think so. Yeah, so we got one right here. Which should take out the number three dude. We might blow up that thing that uh, Zephyr is next to. So that might be a problem. But let's see if it's actually going to be one. It probably is. Oh, got never mind. Yeah, it's a good thing we got this one where they increase damage as it passes through enemies. Because that allows us to take out stuff in the distance. Even if it's not going to kill the first thing we hit, it's always going to kill the second, it seems. Are they trying to escape also? 
Number four is trying to escape. What's our chances to hit the number four, dude? 39? I guess we'll just go for the number two then. They just moved away. Took a shot on Zephyr. And then went into Overwatch. Now it's Zephyr's turn. We're gonna go for the number two, dude, because they're gonna try and leave on their turn. They're disorientated now. I wanna leave you out here with Parion to try and draw fire from somebody. Use tongue pull on on them. And then use bind to take them out. Don't struggle. So far, we haven't had to sustain the, sustain the bind more than once. Yeah. So I'm also glad that we didn't go for that since it was only an increase while we um while we were actually doing it, like while we were binding Heads something. Up. So for the most part, there wasn't actually going to be an effect. I mean, you go for a normal shot on them. Got him. And move up to here. Gotta get moving. That's a terrible chance to hit, but we'll go for it anyways. So if we can take them out now, then it's gonna be fine. And they'll probably go for Zephyr anyway, so it's gonna block the shot. So either way, we weren't gonna take any more damage. We got six captured units, so we earned the 20 intel. So. And it's hard to argue. Funny thing, five years ago I kept my head down. Today I'm proud of this city. What we're making here is going to change the world. Once we stay, once we can reliably deliver it to the world, set up Bug Town, local guys to City 31. Pretty sure I've read that one before, but oh well. Anarchy is risen by one. I thought we just handled that. Uh, over here it's risen. We got to pull this one down. Stare. A local pirate radio station claims to have answers about the fade. Some residents welcome the station's frank assessment of the disease. Well, we're finally hearing the truth. The city council was too afraid to tell us. But not everyone is convinced. It's wishful thinking. Anyone can say they know what's going on. That doesn't mean they do. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. We'll be saving up to get this enhanced AR in the next episode. I think we should be able to get it by next time. After our next mission, we should have enough. I just have to remember to come and buy it. Uh, I don't have a purpose in buying an Android. I never used it last time we did it. So I'm not even going to do the assemblies for it. The next thing I'm going to look into now is Gray Phoenix equipment. I'm going to go for the the region we first. I think that's going to be more powerful for us. And then the Venom rounds next. Just to have one set of those so we can use them. Because that was one that I like to use. Along with the incendiaries, I think would be pretty good as well. So that's that. And... I guess don't forget to follow all the I guess don't forget to follow the rest of my socials in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.